Hey guys, it's Xshine here, and today I'm going to show you an old school RuneScape in Soul Dragon Head training method I've been doing as I'm going for 99 Prayer right now. It's really easy and pretty cheap. It's in between doing the Chaos Altar, the Wilderness Altar, and regular, you know, Altar at your player own house. So I really like doing it because you get a lot of combat experience, it's very relaxing, and you get magic experience. So we're going to go over my equipment at first. Uh, so first off, I would always wear a proselyte uh, top and legs. It's just nice because then you can just keep Heidi on the entire trip and not have to really use my, many prayer restoration me methods. Uh, I have a, a face guard. You can just use a Nazi at home if uh, you don't have a face guard. This is very minimal. Uh, aim of torture, just most damage as possible. Aim of fury is fine if you can't if you don't have that. Uh, fire cape, pretty sure everyone has a fire cape. Uh, of a blessing, if you don't, you, know, you can just buy it off the GE if you don't have a blessing for. Uh, object defender, uh, if you don't have that, just use a dragon defender. And a very important weapon is the dragon hunter lance. It really speeds up the experience an hour. If you don't have this though, you can just use a whip and a defender or a, uh, you know, a Zamora Costa. It just depends on your budget, but this is the like well, pretty much like what I'm doing for really fast experience rates. Uh, ferocious Gloves, just maximizing my damage. Primary Boots, again, maximizing damage. Again, Dragon Boots or you know, Barrow's Gloves, and Berserker Ring Eye. Uh, another thing I'm doing is for my inventory is Super Combat Potion, uh, Extended Super Anti-Fire, and I have an imbued heart, actually. Reason being is because you need 93 magic for this method, and I don't have that, so I use that to actually boost my uh, level. It, you know, If you're uh, further away from 93 magic, you can even use... Uh, preserve and you know get the magic level so you don't lose the magic level required and uh my serpent god sword is actually acting like a spec weapon and a prayer potion uh you typically drink one prayer potion each time you go here if you don't have a serpent god sword and if you do bring a prayer potion and you don't have a serpent god sword you can just bring like a dragon dagger if you want or does not bother just because they have so little hp but it does speed up the xp rate if you bring a spec weapon uh, my pouch has bloods, souls, and natures, so that's that. And I have a teleport to house tablet. Uh, if you know, you can a construction cape, you know, you can teleport to your home like that. But I use that, and you know, entire inventory full of insole dragon heads. And so we're gonna teleport to my house, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing. So this pool is actually very important, and the fairy ring is very important. Again, you need a high level of construction for these, but you know, a lot of people have these. And again, this is a high level method, so uh, you want to use the uh, code CIS to get to the library, to where we want to go. And you're going to walk over here. And the spot is going to be right close to the entrance. So you want to stand right east of this little pebble stuff right here and yeah just start using your installed heads I'm gonna pot up piety on and just hit it so there's actually uh, a trick to these dragons so depending if you one shot or two shot them like two or more shots it depends when you can cast your dragon head again so uh, this is gonna die and so watch it died. I'm gonna use it right away. Uh, if it if it takes more than two hits, you can you have you can do it right away. However, if I one shot it, like now at the wait, use it because it won't let you. So that's really strange that it's even like that. But you know that's how it is. And um, so again, one shot at the wait, use it. And you always just want to stand, uh, I guess, three squares away. There's two spaces in between the little purple thing glowing, and just keep whacking at it. And, uh, yeah, again, like I said, you only need, like, one per, per, uh, trip. And, I mean, I, to be honest, this is really it. Like, it's really a relaxing method. I really enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to show you how I bank, though. So, like, pretend this is the last dragon. It's dead. Teleport, teleport a house fast. 
and I'm just going to run straight to my Nexus. Yeah, I think crafting cake might be better, but yeah, and then you just don't you know, get your installed heads. If you ran out of pots, uh, you just double click and then teleport a house again. And then as you're going to the fairy ring, just click on the pool and use the fairy ring. And so, yeah, that's really it, guys. Uh, I, I'm just doing this for, again, 99 prayer. It's really, I'm surprised. I don't see many people actually doing this method. It's really cheap just because I think it's not really known. I, I'm making this just because I couldn't really find a guide on how to really uh, do this at all. Like, they're all old. They're all, like, three years old. Or, like, they don't really explain it well. There's no, like, method to it. So, yeah. Uh, if you liked it, uh, leave some comments. And, yeah, I hope this helps you on 99 Prayer. Maybe you can try it out for yourself. Bye-bye.